And our team coverage continues right now with News 2's Aaron Morgan. And Aaron, you have a breakdown of the timeline beginning with when Brittany Drexel first disappeared more than a decade ago. Carolyn, it's been 13 years of waiting for the family of Brittany Drexel, years full of searches and suspects being named. She disappeared on April 25, 2009, while vacationing in Myrtle Beach from New York. She was last seen outside the Ocean Resort. Then in February 2012, a convicted sex offender named Raymond Moody was named a person of interest in the case. He had previously spent 20 years in prison on rape charges. He never faced charges in relation with the Drexel case until now. In June of 2016, the FBI announced they believed Drexel had been killed and moved the center of the investigation to the Low Country, including McClellanville and Georgetown, where they believed she had been held against her will. The FBI announced a $25,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Then in March of 2017, agents conducted a new search in Georgetown County, but no new evidence was released from that search. In 2019, the FBI confirmed it was searching a property in Colleton County in connection to the case. The case had been cold and since then until May 4th of this year when Raymond Moody was arrested on obstruction of justice charges. And now we know the Georgetown County Sheriff's Office says Moody is responsible for the murder of Brittany Drexel. On May 11th, the FBI found human remains on a rural property which had been confirmed to be Brittany. Now, Moody is facing charges for murder, kidnapping, and criminal sexual conduct, as well as the obstruction of justice charge from the beginning of the month. Reporting in studio, I'm Erin Morgan, Count on Two.